What is up, everybody? Welcome to Down a Man Podcast, episode number one. I'm your host, Tyler Williams, and today we're going to be breaking down and analyzing the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. We were originally expecting it to come out in the Super Bowl, but they decided to put it out into the world on an earlier date. So, without further ado, let's get to analyzing this trailer, shall we? So, right away, the trailer starts off in a mountainous region of the Sierra Nevada in California, and we see a herd of Parasaurolophus, like, jumping over the camera, like, shaking it. We also see a shot of Owen and a bunch of other cowboys, like, chasing these dinosaurs. Note that you can hear John Hammond's voice in the background, like, isn't that amazing to hear John Hammond in this trailer? Next in the same setting... We see Owen touching one of the Parasaurolophus' heads, just like the still image that was released by Entertainment Weekly, which is nothing really new. It looks exactly the same. And then we have Macy coming across this logging site where a bunch of other workers are, and they're staring at this huge, massive Apatosaurus, which is like standing directly over them. And then here comes the incredible part. Blue has a child of her own. Like, isn't that exciting? They're just, like, running through the snow together, like, sightseeing, exploring and stuff. And then Claire says that we can't keep her here forever. And Owen tells her that if they find her, we're never going to see her again. We've got to protect her. That's our job. Like, you know, he wants Blue to, like, be safe out there in the wild to make sure that Dr. Henry Wu or Biosyn won't take her. It's like Wheatley and Middleston, Fallen Kingdom, you know what I mean? In this next shot, we have the Mosasaurus attacking some fishing boat in the ocean, while Ellie Sattler says humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. Note that this is the exact same footage from the prologue slash five minute preview with Fast and Furious 9 back in June of last year, and that we have created an ecological disaster, and we cut to more of the same footage from the prologue, that is Rexy attacking the drive-in theater. Now, they said that the prologue wasn't going to be a part of this movie. And I was like, if the prologue wasn't going to be a part of this movie, then why are they showing the same footage? And I also was like, is Rexy even in this trailer? I don't know. I'm so confused right now. And here comes the most exciting part of the trailer. Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant, the original cast from Jurassic Park are back. I was like... Wow, guys, it's so awesome to finally see them again after 30 years. Wow, I just can't believe this, man. And then we cut to our first new dinosaur, the Therizinosaurus. And as you can see, this dinosaur is like ambushing Claire in some jungle. You can see that Claire is like crawling for her life, trying to hide from this dinosaur. Well, Ian Malcolm's voice in the background says, We're racing towards the extinction of our species. And the Therizinosaurus roars, like, directly in the water, knowing that Claire is in there. And the camera pans downward. Claire is, like, holding her breath for her life, like, hoping that the Therizinosaurus doesn't detect her. And then we have Dr. Henry Wu with surprisingly long hair, and he's sitting in a lab, looking very dejected, forced into doing something. The guy on the left appears to be Lewis Dodgson. And he's, like, forcing him to, like, create dinosaurs. In this next shot, again, we have Claire. And she is being chased by one of the Atrociraptors, which is Tiger. And there's a new country called Malta. And then she's, like, jumping from roof to roof, like, similar to, like... You know, it certainly kind of gives me the what, Fast and Furious or Jason Bourne type of vibe, you know? In the next scene, we have Alan Grant in a helicopter, and he's looking at, from above, what appears to be the Biosyn facility. I, wait, is that where the lab was? I think it is. This has to be the Biosyn facility, because it's like in the middle of the forest. And then we have another one of the same shots from the previous still images we got. 
And that was Owen and Kayla facing off against what appears to be the Pyroraptor. And as you can see, it is standing on some frozen snowy area, a frozen lake or something, I'm not sure. And it's charging like right at them, like, whoa, that looks real nice. And then we cut to Ellie Sattler at some farm, looking very concerned. Note that she's wearing the exact same outfit from the original movie. Like, can you believe that? After like so many years. And then she sees like a bunch of kids running from what appears to be a swarm of locusts. And then we're back in Malta, and we see Owen taken off in a motorcycle. And then we see the rest of the Atrociraptor pack, Ghost and Panthera, and they are chasing him. Then two other dinosaurs were also encountered, the Allosaurus and the Carnotaurus. And then we see one of the Atrociraptors, like, trying to jump on Owen, nearly missing him, and the screen cuts to black. And then we have Owen and Claire in a plane in which Kayla's flying, and they get a warning signal, and they hear a loud shriek. Owen says, that's another plane, right? And Kayla says, not exactly. Then that loud shriek was later revealed to be a Quetzalcoatlus. Man, that thing is huge. No wonder why they call it the world's largest pterosaur. And it is attacking the plane. Not only was it Quetzalcoatlus, but there was also a Pteranodon attacking them as well. In this next shot, we have two Nasutoceratops attacking and overturning a bunch of vehicles on this hazy night. Note that this kind of gives me Battle at Big Rock vibes, like, you know what I mean? Then we have Beta like, sniffing at some fox carcass, and the snow just suddenly explodes. There must have been a trap underneath the snow. Blue is like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And the truck drives up behind her. There was probably some poachers like, capturing Beta and taking her to the Biosyn facility. And then it cuts to Macy inside of a cage, and she's being attacked by what appears to be the Giganotosaurus and it is clamping down on the cage. Note that the Giganotosaurus is kind of doing the same thing that the Spinosaurus was doing to Amanda Kirby back in Jurassic Park 3. Then, a, a dinosaur just returned to this movie, the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. And as you can see, it is roaring like, directly in Claire's face. And I was like, how is she going to get out of this? The Dilophosaurus spits venom, I don't know, I hope she doesn't die. I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna have to find out once the movie comes out. And then it cuts to the most awesome shot in this trailer. The Jurassic Park and Jurassic World characters uniting. And they are in a forest, which is on fire in the Biosyn Valley. But Owen and Alan say, don't move at the same time. And stepping out of the woods is the Giganotosaurus. And Ian says, bigger. Why do they always have to go bigger? And then the Jigga's foot just stomps on the ground, and then that is it. Thank you so much for listening to Dynaman Podcast. This is your host, Tyler Williams, signing out.